Welcome to The Deciding Point, our Crack Rackets weekly breakdown of the biggest storylines going on throughout the tennis world. We're going to focus on the professional action this week. We had four fantastic tournaments delivering us some very fun results. With that in mind, here was one of our biggest storylines from the past week of pro tennis. Let's talk about the WTA action in Lyon, where 18-year-old Clara Tawson, in just the third main draw of her young career, won her first WTA-level title. Now, it's the eighth title for Tawson in 10 finals, the first nine final seven titles coming at the ITF level, but you look at her performance this week. She didn't drop a single set in any of her seven victories, won her two qualifying matches in straight sets, knocked off top seed Ekaterina Alexandrova in straight sets, in her first round match, knocked off Bedosha Jaber in the semifinals, and then Golubic in the final. You watch uh, Clara Tawson play for about 15 seconds or, you know, one full service or return game, and her talent just jumps off the screen. When she has the opportunity to set her feet and strike the ball cleanly, uh, I would say seven out of ten times right now against her level of competition, it's turning out to be a winner. And there's just a steadiness, a poise to toss in. Uh, she doesn't seem overwhelmed by any of the stages, any of the moments that she finds herself in. And, you know, she dealt with a couple of controversial, uh, in my opinion, Opinion, incorrect line calls during her semifinal match in particular, but then early in the final match as well, and she handled them like a champ. She kept her head down, persevered, was down an early break in the first set of the final, uh, almost broke back immediately, but after facing that two-love deficit, was able to steady the ship, and then from there, you know, coast in her first WTA level final, and having the chance to speak with her in her press conferences this past week. Uh, she's someone who is prepared for success, and by by the way, if you want to hear from her, go check out those press conferences on our Cracked Interviews podcast. But for Clara Tawson, I mean, the forehand, it's a little bit of an extreme grip, but when she connects with it cleanly, she can move it around the court. It's a heavy topspin shot. It can just drive through the court as well. When she connects with that backhand, it is a thing of beauty. It's like a slingshot uh, coming off of her strings. And of course, she can buy time for herself. She's comfortable at the net. Her serve uh, still needs some work, but certainly the first serve flashes plus potential, and then, you know, I think her movement something she's going to need to work on, but you could say that about every 18-year-old in tennis history, and so I have to say, if you're a Clara Tawson fan, she's now 39-8 and eight in her last 52 weeks of competition, 94-24 and 24 since the start of the 2019 season. Let me repeat that again, 94-24. and 24. That's absolutely stunning. It shows she's had success at every level of the professional tour at she's continued her ascent. She's a former world junior number one as well. So it's not a shock to see a former number one junior turn into a good professional tennis player. It is a shock to see someone do it and rise as rapidly as Clara Tawson has. She now cracks the WTA top 100 with this result, I believe is at number 96 in the latest edition of the rankings. And obviously this is going to have some opportunity now to play some high level matches. She'll get into the main draws of Grand Slams, and given that French Open she played last year where she knocked off Jennifer Brady, and obviously that was some pretty good foreshadowing So, what, from what we've seen here early in the season from her. Uh, given she's going to get main draw points at these Grand Slams, given she's going to get to play WTA-level events now, even with the rankings freeze, she's someone who's going to be able to add a ton of points to her ranking, and with that, it's not going to shock me at all if we see her by the end of the season inside the top 75, top 60. I think that's how good she is already, and of course, her potential as she continues to improve. She uh, has the skill set, she has the mindset, and clearly, she has an appetite and a love for the sport as well. So fantastic week from Clara Tawson. Fantastic week from her opponent, Golubic, as well, who uh, dramatic three set seven six in the third victory over number two seed Fiona Farrow in the semifinals. Thought it was a good week for Farrow, too, who might be the best mover in the women's game, not named Simona Halep. She's that quick around the court. Uh, I thought Bedosa Joubert played a great match against Kiki Mladenovic. I honestly thought it was a good week for Mladenovic as well, and considering there were a lot of top-ranked players playing in Doha, 
Doha last week. It's, you know, credit to Toss and credit to all of the players taking the opportunity to get into this draw here in Lyon. I believe last year it was Sonia Kennan who won the Lyon result, uh, the Lyon event this year, Clara Tossin. Hopefully that is more foreshadowing for success in her career because certainly she is someone all of us will begin to enjoy over the next 10 years.